First time I flew into New York, I was a nervous, excited 15-year-old kid. Today I stand here as a nervous, excited 45-year-old, hoping that I can find the words to express my feelings at being inducted into Baseball's Hall of Fame. As a youngster growing up in Panama, I used to listen to the Armed Forces Radio, and I fantasized about what would it be like playing in the major leagues one day. I never even dared dreaming that a day like this would arrive. But that's one of the great things about this country. You can achieve whatever you set out to do. You've got to work hard, and you've got to go ahead. Don't always let anyone distract you from what you're trying to do. I never played baseball to win honors, but over my career, I was fortunate enough to win many. This is the greatest honor that any player can receive, the ultimate measure of reaching the top of one's profession. For that, I thank God for blessing me with the talent to be able to go out and play baseball and for giving me good health. My mother, who instilled in me a sense of right from wrong, and who always made sure that I had a glove to go out and play the game. Herb Stein, the scout that followed me all over New York and recommended me to the Minnesota Twins. Calvin Griffith, for his patience and confidence in me when there were a lot of people in the organization felt that I wasn't ready to play in the big leagues. Billy Martin, for taking a young kid and turning him into a man. And I know that the rumble that you just heard was Billy's message. <laughs> of saying that he approves of what's happening here today. But Gene Mock, who continued continue to teach me how to play the game, and from who I learned a lot about the game of baseball. Gene Autry, who I think is one of the best owners any player would want to play for. To my special friend, Joe Garagiola. 1984, I had some frustrating times, and Joe gave me this quote. He says, for those who know me, no explanation is necessary. For those who don't, none is possible. Those words have brought me personal comfort since 1984, and I thank you very much, Joe. <laughs> to the Baseball Writers of America for granting me this tremendous honor, and to all the Hall of Famers, men that I grew up admiring, for being here today to share this special day with me. Thank you very much, gentlemen. But most but most importantly, my wife, Marilyn, for always being there with me and for me over the last 21 years that we've been married. And my daughter, Sharice, and my daughter, Stephanie, who is celebrating her 16th birthday today. And my youngest daughter, Michelle, for their love and understanding having to share their father with millions of people from all around the country. To the, to the many fans and friends that have traveled from across the United States and from Panama, I thank you so much, and you all know how I feel about you. Congratulations to Ferguson Jenkins and Gaylord Perry, two of the greatest competitors that I've ever faced in a game. To Phil Collier, Joe Garagiola, and to the families of Tony Lazari and Bill Veck. One of my first thoughts at being told of my election into the Hall of Fame 
was the natural law of being recognized alongside Cobb, Ruth, Gehrig, and Jackie Robinson. But the Hall of Fame is more. It's all the kids who ever played the game. It's all the fans who ever bought a ticket. It's the first time you took your son or your daughter to a ball game. It's Satchel Paige and Roberta Clemente. It's the Say Hey Kid. It's the Duke, the Hammer, Cool Papa, the Mick, Big Train, Pee Wee, Joe D, Teddy Ball Game, and many more. Thanks all of you for moving over a little and making a space for me in your shrine. Thank you. <laughs>